Well, good afternoon. Welcome, everyone. This is our first meeting of PBS's inaugural uh, Racial Equity and Social Justice Community Advisory Committee. Uh, the district, uh, in, in accordance with uh, Senate Bill 732, has established uh, this committee, which is subject to public uh, meeting laws. Um, and we have uh, chartered it, and we have our first phase of members, um, our RSJ partners who uh, come from a street community. Uh, and this is our first meeting. We're going to have this first meeting uh, in advance of the deadline of September 15th, uh, where we're going to uh, get to know one another, uh, talk a little bit about the charter, and then talk about phase two of outreach for, our, for your colleagues that will join you soon. And then we'll go ahead and adjourn and, and talk about next steps. So, um, on behalf of the superintendent and the school board, which with, with both of which you will advise, I want to thank you for your service and for your time today. Um, but more importantly, just thank you for all of the partnership that you um, that you have done over the years with PPS. Um, so, what I thought we could do quickly is just do a quick round of introductions. Um, I'll start. My name is Danny Ledesma. I'm the racial equity and social justice advisor for PPS. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Shidia Lopez Gamboa, and I'm the project manager for the RESJ team. Hey everyone, Will for Nathan, ASJ Professional Learning. Hello, I'm Gary Levine, senior legal counsel. Carol Bradshaw. Hi, everybody. I'm Ernie Guerrero. And I'm Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Andrea Alperson. I'm the director of the Thank you. And uh, I believe one other member was probably unable to make it, but his name is Kalini Batsua, and he's with Urko. Um, and we'll get to know him more. Um, so I think the first thing that we wanted to do today is just kind of take a, some moments just to go over the charter of the committee. Um, I believe uh, you've seen this before. This should look rather uh, rather familiar <laughs> to everyone. Uh, what I'm really excited about is that this charter is really an opportunity to bring together our students, our community members, our parents, and our staff to really inform and advise the superintendent and the school board about ways to improve our practices, our policies, our protocols at PPS in terms of creating more equitable outcomes for students of color. Um, but also it's an opportunity to, um, in partnership, kind of progress monitor where we are. You know, So I think there's lots of opportunity to provide um, real-time advice for what's happening right in front of us, but also to look forward and look behind us is this sort of benchmark where we are and where, where we need to go. Um, uh, we're, we're really grounded in some key uh, documents, our vision, our strategic plan, and our really sort of far-reaching racial equity, uh, racial educational equity policy that was passed 10 years ago. And probably remember that. Uh, we're working with PBS at the time. So uh, this, uh, the goal of the team is really to just kind of create a lot of time and space for um, not only for community members and staff members, but for really a chance to elevate student voice. Um, and both of you work really closely with students and are, are key um, providers of, of that leadership opportunity for students. And so I'm really thrilled that our students will have the opportunity to sit side by side with you um, talking about these really important issues. Um, so uh, as required, uh, you, you will advise the board and the superintendent about um, equity impacts. Um, we are hoping that you'll also uh, inform the district of any real-time uh, incidents that are happening, but that you will also monitor our progress. And uh, the, real, the real big thing is making sure that we're complying with our public meetings, which you just saw. We're all going to kind of have a learning on that one. Um, so uh, as you all know, we've been working on developing this charter, this group of work, but this is something that is uh, that we'll co-create and we'll sort of learn from as we move along as being inaugural members. But uh, in terms of our next phase of feedback, 
Uh, we wanted to make sure that you know that we're going to be doing a second round of applications for membership. Um, we moved back the date. Uh, the due date was originally October 15th, but we're going to give people another five more days just because we know that students and staff have had like a big start of school. So uh, we're going to do that. We'll still be able to make a recommendation to the school board by the 25th and hopefully be able to um, have the school board approve, kind of like they did for you all at the last board meeting on November 1st. Um, hopefully you feel all of the support and uh, 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 sort of, you know, uh, sort of staffing that you need. Uh, the superintendent is the executive sponsor, the RSJ team in the information English resource and Clark's team, who's our free engagement team, will be working. We also have our legal adults uh, from the general counsel office who are available on hand for us as well. So um, eventually we'd like to uh, form co-chairs who will, you know, sort of be, uh, sort of work with staff closely around establishing the agendas um, and sort of essentially run the meetings. Uh, so you won't have my facilitation for much longer. Uh, so then if we scroll down a little bit, uh, so the big the big line, the big guidelines for you all is, is, is the willingness to, to sort of serve. Um, you saw from the application, we're really looking for folks with both lived experience as well as um, ex, you know expertise and, and uh, willingness to, to talk about these issues and bring a perspective. Um, the superintendent uh, makes the final recommendation to the school board, and the school board is the they vote on the superintendent's recommendation. Uh, we want it to be really collaborative with the school board. So, as part of the application vetting and recommendations, we also have a team of two school board members that will that will do that. So, we have three members so far of our fifteen, and we're hoping to get to fifteen. So we're looking for five PBS students. Um, and so uh, we'll talk about some of the outreach and hope and ask for some of your support too in that. We're also looking for five uh, PBS staffs. And we really wanna make sure that we have a broad range of staff that are both represented and not represented in terms of, of labor. We wanna make sure that we have educator and principal voice, school leadership voice, um, but really sort of try to get a broad array as much as we can. Uh, there again with the lived experience of um, of of sort of being able to bring that perspective to this earlier. Um, so we are here to support you. Like we said, those are some of the resources we can talk as we go on. If there's additional like professional development or learning or training that the team wants, um, or we can also talk about space and uh, time and sort of just trying to think about like. Where are all the members are traveling to and from, and maybe we can try to have some different uh, different uh, locations of meetings, time of day of meetings, just to kind of try to accommodate for this um, this bringing together of students, staff, and university. <laughs> it's scheduling will be exciting, uh, to say the least. Um, we'll meet quarterly, uh, and uh, my hope is that we'll spend a lot of time at the beginning, really getting to know each other and get really clear on sort of what folks hope to accomplish during their terms. Uh, and make sure that all the questions, all the information that people have about uh, some of our efforts are there. Um, and that we really just take the time to, to really sort of begin to, to deepening those relationships so that they can be transformative um, in terms of what they can do. So that's the charter. Any questions? Any surprise, hopefully no surprises. <laughs> All right. Um, well, so the last piece of business is that we just wanted to talk a little bit about our outreach plans. So we have created an outreach uh, plan for our second phase. Um, you all were part of our outreach plan as part of the first phase, uh, which we went to directly to our RSJ partners. Um, so um, we are in the process of creating a website. So the website uh, application and materials are getting translated as we speak. So hopefully by the end of this week, we'll have a draft email that has a link to the website, a link to the charter, and a link to the application that we will begin sort of like blasting everywhere. So if we scroll down to phase two, the yellow is kind of phase one. We completed that, yay! <laughs> so um, 
So we'd love kind of some of your feedback on this one. So uh, like I said, we were doing the communication email. It's right now in translation. We are meeting with our comms team. We're, I met with uh, Byrony, who's the student representative, and Kara yesterday got some really good advice about reaching out to students. Um, and then, uh, you know, Will is taking on a lot of our internal teams in terms of staffing. Um, and then Tara Lynn and Ben Roth will send another email out to all of our partners really asking, you know, for some of those students uh, that you probably can list way more than five um, in terms of who would be really good on this committee, who has a real interest and willingness to kind of hash it out, you know, and who, who really is caring and, and committed to racial equity and social justice. And again, we're looking for that lived experience uh, so that they're, we're bringing in a multitude of perspectives. Um, so uh, some of the students, so we, we're going to reach out to partners in terms of students that you serve, but some of the other really good advice that we got from Byrony was to specifically do a little bit more reach out to PIL. Um, a lot of student athletes are really, uh, really sort of engaged and care a lot about this. And Marshall has done like just a really impeccable job of sort of um, talking about the importance of serving and athletics as being a really important way to close the gap, the opportunity gap for a lot of our students of color. Uh, and then uh, she talked a lot about social media. So we're going to try it. <laughs> I don't know. Um, I don't know if linking to my account is going to get us there. But we're going to, we're going to try to push it out to all of our social media okay. accounts and then ask people that are comfortable, you know, sharing, maybe retweeting or reposting. Um, and then we're also going to do some outreach specifically to the leadership team. So the leadership uh, teachers in each of the high schools uh, basically work with all of the affinity. So like the Black Student Union, the Matcha groups. Uh, so we're going to create some specific posters and deliver them. Um, so we have a screening team that we're working on right now. And then we're hopefully um, getting ready to go in terms of the uh, of this. So um, to our members, um, I know that's a lot of information about how we're trying to get more members. Um, do you have any feedback or, or caution or encouragement? <laughs> uh, uh huh. Should there going to be a stipend or anything for the students? Will they be compensated in some way to help offset whether they are missing work to come or something like that? Uh, we have, we don't have anything formal. We've kind of talked a little bit about that. As, as I understand, our community engagement team is sort of uh, working with like some of our policy our policy uh, committee around understanding kind of like what is that that role for for that. So it's been discussed, but there haven't been any final decisions there just yet. And maybe that uh, I know the schools that I send those to. I get a lot of communication with PTA. Oh, okay. Um, so maybe I'm checking in with ETA teams to figure out if they can. Are we looking for reps from 8 to 12? We're kind of keeping it open. I, um, I think the, we, had, we had kind of proposed middle school and high school. As kind of a, a, a big one, I think developmentally, like middle schoolers are kind of there. Um, how many kind of other districts that are that open it up to the grade schools? So we haven't put any uh, any sort of uh, limits, and I think we'll kind of see who, who we are. But yes, I think and you probably know this work, given that you work with high school and middle school students, and like you know emerging. Um, uh, ninth graders um, seems like this sweet spot is that sort of school to high school, just given the development of where they are. All right. Well, I think the last piece of business today is just um, uh, as, as we start um, thinking about that first, you know, couple of meetings where we're doing some orientation and and uh, just trying to set a really positive and collaborative tone with the committee. Uh, we just wanted to open it up to, to you all to see if you had any feedback or sort of like must-haves or, you know, would be nice uh, in terms of 
your participation and working with uh, your soon to be colleagues. I think you have a good start when you're looking at location, time of day, because of you know the fact that we're speaking, we're also working. Um, I think I, I have to get into the process to see if there are any shifts mm -hmm. that are always going to be on the yet. Um, but I think those are some good, mindful considerations to start. Far as folks get to know each other and just building a team that's going to get together and doing for a couple of years. Yeah. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's great. So, it's going to know each other and help work. It's going to be a lot of background. I'll say, um, in the past, one of my first this CBS, one of the things that I think um, we could have done a better job of is being more. The key that you're communicating what is that RES agenda. She is our, I think, very clever about that. And then maybe even a little attentive um, because I think sometimes people who don't have much of this work, um, that are being, even if they're being not in there, they don't understand what it is. So just make um, sure that we are able to make clear that one of our SJD is in. Um, yeah, yeah. Right. charter is great. It might not mean that much for two jobs okay. with three different kids. You know, yeah. Uh, okay. That is a really, um, thank you for bringing that up. That was a question I had for you all because I think, I think about the three of you, I think of you as being really close partners. You kind of you work in our schools, you know kind of what we're doing. You work a lot with the team already. Um, but we really want to ground people and sort of like, okay, here's the file we here's here's the let's go back through like the vision and the piece so that we kind of get all on the same page. And I think I would wanted to kind of gauge from from you is sort of like how deep should we go, you know, how because I think calibrating for everyone's interest, but also lack of lack of knowing, right? Like, you know, it's just not they're not doing it, especially for students too. So I'm hearing spend some time on that. I think to be digestible, and again, mm -hmm. what's the different for a student, and then it's different, and it's different for a parent, and then my quite different for a mm -hmm. greater mm -hmm. um, making it more really good for the content. Well, it's a core of the why. Um, I was going to say, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so I think uh, this is the time where we call if there's any public comment. Is there any public comments? All right. And so the, seeing that there's not any public comments, um, I just want to thank you so much for your time today and for kind of coming in help us meet this very important uh, letter of the law. Uh, and um, I'm really excited and thrilled about the time about her tournaments for me and I'm selfishly really excited to get to the closely with you all. Um, and uh, we will be, in terms of next steps, we'll be like in our show. We'll probably call you a couple times. Um, and then once we get uh, uh, sort of uh, get up and see about, we'll start trying to have a calendar of meetings or recording so you can imagine how long we have one meeting before the end of the year. Uh, the calendar will be 13. And then get two more uh, in before the end of the school year. So uh, really appreciate and We may want to try to uh, think about some sort of like maybe a longer retreat or make some of that grounding and get to know you closer to the start of the year after the So really appreciate your time today. All right. And um, we're going to go ahead and adjourn for me. Unless there's any other business or any other things to add. Sure.